St George's Church Golfing. The delicate and beautifully proportioned red brick church of St George's at Gotho appears to be isolated, with only a rough track leading about 200 yards across fields from the nearby lane to the churchyard. The north side of the churchyard is thickly shielded by trees, but the south and east sides are protected by lower shrubs and saplings. The church is probably early 16th century. Pevsner estimates the date as 1640. However, others place it at near 1500, and the use of red brick makes it unique for its period in Lincolnshire, and rare in the country as a whole. To the southwest of the churchyard lies an abandoned village buried under the rich, ploughed earth. These bumps and lumps in the field have been extensively examined by archaeologists, and substantial remains of pottery and artefacts retrieved. It's believed the village was abandoned in the 15th century, some say after deteriorating weather conditions made farming unproductive. Others say after the plague. During dry summer days, the crop marks in the fields show the outlines of the villages, the village streets, some large houses and a castle mound. Excavated in 1970, the village was found to comprise of 36 crofts, a moated manor and a 16th century chapel on the site of the early parish church. Crofts were found to be made of mud and stud from the Saxo-Norman period, and artefacts found at the site suggest a prosperous community, with items including enamelled and gilded bronze pendants and many other beautifully crafted bronze artefacts. I researched these artefacts and made contact with David Start of Heritage Lincolnshire, who was able to provide me with images of some of the beautiful items discovered. On entering the church through the heavy 16th century door, one is presented with a beautifully manicured rustic interior with wooden floorboards and pleasingly painted in subtle duck egg blues and greys. The east end is clearly visible through an archway revealing a small altar surrounded on three sides by a communion rail on balustrades with a Queen Anne reredos attached to the back wall. There's a small wooden balcony area to the west end which can be climbed to view the entire small interior of the church. The windows are glazed in plain clear quarry glass attached to heavy wrought iron ferramenta with external wire guard protection. Without doubt, St Gotho's church is charming and homely. The colour scheme is committed but well judged and I've created an artwork which works in harmony with this colour palette of warm greys, blues and dried wood. The focal point of the design is Joel's poem, which is surrounded by elements relating to this location. A beautiful bronze brooch can be seen below the poem, with other artefacts dotted around the design, including a wooden hair comb, pressed metal circular pieces. The background also contains a visual reference to the tangle of brambles and bran branches referred to in the poem, and there's a small image of the church located on the left of the design. Unique to this church, the stained glass window here will not be installed into an oak frame, but rather fitted directly to the ferramenta bars with copper ties. 